Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Scott from CircuitBasics.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the 555 timer to operate in monostable mode. So I'm going to set up the circuit just like this. You don't have to follow along uh, in the video. I have a diagram of the circuit at uh, the blog post which I'm going to link to in the description section. So just go over there and check that out to set up the circuit. I'm just going to show you what the circuit does and different ways you can modify it. Alright, and once you have everything set up, basic components of the 555 timer, a capacitor, an LED, and a push button switch. And you can see when you press the button, the light stays on and then turns off. You can see that the LED stays on for about a second before turning off. And that's a function of the resistance and capacitance in the circuit. And the effect of resistance can be demonstrated uh, pretty well with a variable resistor. So we can go ahead and set that up. And as we decrease the resistance, the time that the LED stays on, decreases, and as we increase the resistance, the length of time the LED stays on after pressing the button increases. So it's kind of an interesting circuit. And stay tuned for the next two videos where I'll talk about the bi-stable mode and a-stable mode. Alright, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.